up guys crazy hd here sorry for my voice i'm a little bit sick i have a whatever's going around um but uh today i'm bringing you guys my first impressions on Domination. world war ii it's about time right um only took me what three months or i mean a month but yeah um so i'm just gonna pull up my notes real quick. Training. Make us and um i know my first thing is that overall I do like the game um, it's very it's not balanced I, I was about to say it was very balanced but it's not balanced at all um, it's a solid game um, <clears throat> but so what I wrote down when playing this is through prestige one um, the PPSH is God I love the PPSH in this game it's the only gun I have gold so far um, I'm pretty close to the Type 100, the BAR, and the MP40, but besides the point. <clears throat> the, uh, divisions make it fun to try out new guns, um, the, it gives incentive to keep grinding the game because you want to keep prestiging, and especially that, the fact that you forget whatever the equivalent of a nuke is in this game, you have to, um, prestige all your divisions, so I've already done that, but, um, I know a lot of people who play around with the different divisions and stuff like that and don't play as much um the challenges are there's a lot of uh unique challenges especially in the headquarters there's the one challenge where you get the three balls um and then there's the other challenge to fall 38 feet and 15 20 and 38 feet i believe are the three challenges and uh so yeah they're fun to try to get <clears throat> Uh, and the contracts and orders, you have daily contracts and weekly contracts, or I mean, I'm sorry, daily orders and weekly orders. And then you have contracts that you can go to the quartermaster for. And they're all really fun, they keep the game fresh, they keep you wanting to try to complete them because they give good incentives like supply drops, or one. I, I think some of the challenges give like 3,000 XP. Um, but yeah, like, like I said, some of them give supply drops, some give rare supply drops, some give uh, double XP for like 20 minutes. They're awesome. War is a very fun and relaxing game mode. Um, they <clears throat> allow you to, um, it allows you to just play and not worry about your kill death ratio and just like, it's like for the people who want to get diamond, sni diamond snipers but aren't good snipers and don't really want to kill their stats online, well they can go into war and they can play and they can still get their camo challenges but they can't, um, but it won't affect their KD, which is really good. I like that. Um, it's a lot of fun. There's the different modes. Operation Neptune, Griffin, and Breakout are the three. And um, Neptune is D-Day. Griffin is... You have three tanks to escort, and then you have to escort one over a bridge, pretty much. Um, and then Breakout <clears throat> is... You have to build a bridge, escort a tank to and destroy the enemy artillery gun. So that's, that's a really fun game mode. The submachine guns and the assault rifles are both really good. Specifically the Type 100, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. The, specifically the Type 100, the MP40, the PPSH as I already mentioned, the BAR, the M1A1. Um, the M1 Garand's pretty decent. Um, the STG's really good. So they're all pretty, like, really, really good um, guns, and you can use pretty much whatever you want. There's also some good LMGs in there. My favorite is the MG15, I think, or that, that's definitely not right. I have it up over here, so I'm going to look real quick. Um, oh, the wrong class. Yeah, the MG15, okay, that is a gun. And my favorite sniper is the M1903, which is the Springfield, which is the American variant of the um, of snipers that they used during the war, but the Car 98K is also very solid. The best shotgun in the game, in my opinion, is the combat shotgun. That's the one I've used the most. Um, the attachments, there's some very good attachments. The lens sight is awesome. Um, that's very balanced for what you need it for. Um, there's the other site that I haven't really played around with much, but apparently a lot of people like it. Uh, the grip and quick draw, obviously, from the old games. From every other Call of Duty, really, are the end of the game again. Um, and there <clears throat> is the advanced rifling uh, to up your range. The FMJ and um, hollow point, I think it is. Uh, the one, there's one that does more damage for headshots. 
and the FMJ is more <laughs> bullet penetration. There's other good attachments, but those are the ones I use the most. Um, and <clears throat> the servers are still really bad a month in. Um, so this is the bad section. The servers are still really bad. They must have been made by a toddler. I think Michael Condry probably let his son get start developing because his son's like four years old. And I, I, I'm just saying, I don't know if he has a son or not, but like hypothetically, <clears throat> Michael Condry probably let his son come and his four-year-old son come and just start developing servers and was like, yeah, let's go with that instead of using real servers. So that that's uh, besides the point. And my personal opinion is that Sledgehammer, the weak point in both Sledgehammer games were the maps. There was never, there was not really, I can't remember a single good map from Advanced Warfare. Like, I don't know any of the map names. Um, and there's not really that many good maps in this game. They're not as bad as Advanced Warfare, I don't think, but... Specifically, Gustav Cannon and USS Texas are absolutely awful. They are sniper's paradise. Um, and I initially did like how there wasn't just three lanes. I also don't like St. Marie de Mont, which is, uh, is apparently a pretty popular map. Um, from what I've heard from my friends, they all really like it. I don't. I hate that map. Uh, my favorite's Flak Tower. I love Flak Tower. I always do really well on that. And then Point Du Hawk is okay. Um, <clears throat> but those are the... Like, like I said, there's not really any really good maps. London Docks is good, um, but besides that, nothing really. Domination, they reduced the points a lot. So they reduced um, capturing flags is now 100, 150 points, I believe. And getting a kill wall um, um, capturing a flag is only 75 points, I believe. Um, they reduce the points a lot, so it's harder to get streaks and domination, which okay, make the game a little bit more challenging. But if you're gonna do that, don't uh, re don't make the low streaks pretty good, like a Molotov cocktail. I, I use the Molotov cocktail, but you give the bad players an advantage in that sense. And then incendiary rounds, that should be a score streak. That should not be something you get on the division, on a division. I mean, <clears throat> um. You get that level one of your expeditionary division, and they are not as overpowered as they were in the beta, but they're still pretty overpowered. Um, you can shoot somebody in the leg, and you'll pretty much kill them with shot with a combat shotgun with uh, incendiary rounds. Um, but overall, I think the game is decent. Um, I think there's stuff that they need to improve. They just nerfed Prime for some reason. Prime was perfect. No one was complaining about Prime. I didn't hear a single person say that Prime was OP or anything, um, because all of the basic trainings, which are perks in this game, all of them have good, um, like, counters, like, you can use different things to, um, offset different basics, basic trainings, so, uh, they should not have nerfed Prime, but other than that, I think everything is pretty good in this game, um, it's definitely the best of the next-gen Call of Duties. It's way better than Advanced Warfare when you're compl comparing the Sledgehammer games. Um, but there is a lot that they need to improve on, and I'm hoping they improve on it sooner rather than later. Um, so yeah, that's my opinion of World War II. I've been grinding it out. I love it. Um, it's a lot of fun, but uh, there, like I said, there is a lot they can improve on. But the good kind of outweighs the bad in my opinion comment down below what your opinion is guys but thank you guys so much for watching comment like subscribe follow me and turn me down description below as always guys i'm crazy hd thanks for watching enjoy the ride see you guys next time